G'day guys, Scotty here from The Hook and The Cook and welcome back to our channel. Well today I'm out at Torino Food Services. George, the owner, is a good client of mine and fishes with me in Botany Bay all the time. Now George distributes from here all over Sydney and as far north as Newcastle, out to Bathurst and all the way down through the Southern Highlands to Canberra and out down to Wollongong and the South Coast. Uh, fantastic products. He's going to show us around his factory today and later George and I are going to head out for a day's fishing on Botany Bay. Stuff. That's how it's sort of imported lines. Right, um, okay. We import wines and olive oil, and we also have lots of Australian products. Right. Brands you'll be familiar with, Master Foods, um, and. Uh, I've seen Nutella there. Nutella, San Pellegrino. Yeah. Um, we specialise in high end imported products as well as Australian products. Um, and. Uh, we bring our clients in sometimes to um, have a look at everything. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah. Shall we Come have a look at your factory, eh? Yeah, we will. I'll just get you some safety gear. Yeah, okay. OH&S. Alright, beautiful. Okay. Let's go. Through, Scotty. This is the, uh, the section of the dry store. Um, we sell food packaging. Our clients, our main clients, are hotels, restaurants, and clubs. I was wondering why he cleaned the boat and took the bloody cover off it. Now, yeah, you know, put two and two together. This is our dry store, Scott. Right. Okay. Um, Carrying wide range of products because our clients are pretty wide and diversified. Yeah. Um, the client base ranges from corner pizzerias to uh, five star hotels, yeah. clubs, pubs. Um, and they try to buy as much as they can from one supplier, so we have a huge variety. These are food packaging. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. Massive setup, you <laughs> This is our bulk imported section, Scotty. Right. We import yep. another really wide variety of high-end products. Yep. Um, Greek olives, Kalamata olives. Yeah, I love my olives. <laughs> <laughs> um, Italian pizza sauces. Right, okay. Um, all down through here. Yeah, all yep. down through there. Artichokes, olive oil, um, real products uh, from, uh, from Italy. I see a lot of canned stuff as well. Canned stuff. These yep. are uh, deli olives. These are these are the latest rate um, baby cornichons. Oh, okay. Oh, so Chefs uh, love them. What, what they look like a little pickle. They're a baby. They're a tiny baby cucumber. Oh right. Um, baby and, uh, the chefs love them. Okay. Um, this is a uh, pickled eggplant. Another rare, yep. unusual product. Okay. Um, capers. Sun-dried tomatoes. Wow, that look nice. Yeah. Artichoke hearts. Alright, yeah. So what, artichokes, what are they, they're going to be used in? Lots of different dishes, I guess. They're used in all, all kinds of applications. A bit like sun-dried tomatoes. Anti-pasta, anti pizzas. Um, pastas, risottos, yep. all that sort of stuff. Um, and delis. Delis uh, use them too. This is our uh, entrance to our freezer and chiller areas. Okay. Um, this is an ante room. An ante room. An ante room, which is temperature controlled. Right on. So that when we unload from the docks, yep. um, the ambient 
the temperature here is much lower than it is to preserve the integrity of the product. This is uh, our freezer, Scotty. Okay. Um, we carry about 3,000 pallets in the freezer. Three. So, everything from seafood, chips, frozen, pasta, uh, all those kinds of lines for uh, fast food and takeaways. Fisherman. Right. I've been there, I've seen it. Yeah. But just in case, I want to show you something. You've got, you got your doubts about me, have you? Um, this is another one of the exclusive products we sell. It. Right. It's a frozen whole baby barramundi. That's 500 grams deep bone. Yep. We've also got Australian salmon from Tasmania. And so restaurants and that order this sort of stuff. Restaurants order this sort of stuff all, all the, time. the time. It's portion cut. Yep. Uh, and it's easy to use, defrosts in a matter of minutes oh. and um, presents very well. Oh, just no, in case. Don't worry, George. Just in case. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna okay. to catch you some fish on the day. All right, thanks. So that looks like a wonderful product. It is. It anyway, is. Let's, um, let's get out there and get some fish, hopefully. Okay. And uh, here we're going out in your boat. You're yep. taking me out in your boat, so yep. that's going to be and, uh, uh, pretty exciting. Hopefully, catch some good fish, and hopefully George is going to cook us something very special at the end of the day for my lunch. <laughs> well done. Thanks, Scott. No thanks worries. All. Well, Glenn, early morning down at the uh, Savonia boat ramp, waiting for uh, George to come and pick us up today. He's taking us out on Botany Bay. And uh, after doing his uh, little factory tour yesterday, we were going to come out yesterday afternoon, but it uh, blew up a little bit, so we thought we'd leave it till this morning. Much better day today. And uh, yeah, looking pretty good, mate. Mm, I think so. It'll be a nice day. Should be all right. So it, uh, it'll be nice, um, different for me, getting picked up by someone else and taking me out. That pressure's on George, not on me, Glenn. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here comes George. <clears throat> right on time. Morning, George. Morning, morning, Scott. How you going? Well, yeah, thanks, mate. I'm grab yeah. that. Thank you. Got it. Yeah. So, uh, pretty good looking day. Yeah, it's surprising. It's hey? Surprising. Yeah. No, I think we'll be right. I think we'll uh, we'll have a good one. Okay, great. grounds now out here in Botany Bay so I brought a little selection along today got a nice little selection of uh, some soft plastics in there some squidgies from Shimano these are some of the new prawns I'm pretty keen to give them a go oh yeah I've seen those they look pretty nice yeah. and some some of the older ones the flick baits 
And of course, my favourite little bumper bar, Lewis. Yep. Gonna we got bounce, a, bounce we got a nice flat head on that bumper bar not long ago. Yep, yep. Last time we were out, actually, yeah. we did, yeah. We got a couple of flatties on those. So we're going to give those a, a go today as well. Bounce them along the bottom, they work quite well. And um, we'll see how we go. Um, the little outfit that I'm using today um, that I've got is a, a little 2500 um, Stratic from Shimano. A nice little. Uh, and uh, Glenn today is going to be using the nice little uh, Shimano yep. bait runner. Um, I'll use these out of my charter, George. These, yeah, are, these are a great I'll, little I'll remember those. So he's going to be using those. So anyway, we're going to uh, we're going to drift through the flats here and see if we can get a few nice flathead. And See here, he's um he's taken that soft plastic right down, right down his throat. Look at that. <laughs> he's a nice little leader, George. We'll hang on to this one. Okay. And uh, Glenn's just hooked up. Flounder. Oh, oh. Nice flounder. Oh, look at that one. Come up with something creative with that, George? Absolutely, <clears throat> absolutely. How would you cook that, George? Um, I'll flour it and season it, yep. and I'll just flash fry it in really hot rice bran oil. Sounds fantastic. There you go, Can't wait for lunch. Flathead in a flounder for lunch, Glenn. That's it, pretty good, eh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey? Too right. Oh, George, it's been a beautiful morning. Yeah, great day. Hey? Great day considering the, the weather. Forecast, yeah. Yeah, how about we uh, we think about heading back and uh, maybe do this cook-up, eh? Okay. I've got a, You're going to cook us some lunch? I've got a great um, a great recipe in mind. Sounds good. Let's just have a little look at our fish in here. George has got a lovely little tank here. There's our flathead. And Glenn's flounder over the back there, so... There are our fish we're going to cook up. Should be pretty good. So what's your thoughts with the flathead, George? Um, I'm going to do a beer batter with the flathead. Right, yep. Lovely. And with the flounder, I'm going to uh, flash fry it. Right. And serve it on a bit of Italian porcini garnished with sun-dried tomatoes. Oh, God, that sounds a bit fancy for me. How about you, Glenn? Sound all right to you? Sounds great. Hey? I'll be up for that. You're <laughs> right. I might bring out one of those barramundi just in case it's not enough. <laughs> <laughs> one from work, I one of the barramundi from I work. I bought a couple home just in case. <laughs> We just arrived back at George's place after our morning out on Botany Bay. Fishing was a little tough, but we managed a, a couple of nice fish that uh, George is up here preparing for us now. How's it looking there, George? Awesome. I'll tell you what I'm doing. I've just made a beer batter. Right. With um, normal plain flour and very cold Italian beer. Beautiful. You've got to keep the batter cold as you can to get it crisp. I'm now warming up. The oil, this is healthy rice bran oil. Okay. It's the healthiest oil you can buy. And you, and you find that's and that's one of the best oils to, to uh, deep fry in? It's the best oil, but it's also the most expensive, but it has no flavour, so it doesn't affect the quality of the product you're cooking. Okay. Rice bran oil is the healthiest oil you can buy. Unfortunately, oh, it's more expensive. And we've got a, a knob of butter in there, and that's Where? for? The, the butter and uh, yep. this pan is for the porcini porcinella 
from Italy that I'm going to cook as a, a base for my flounder. Yep. My flash fry the flounder. Okay, well, here's our fish over here. Beautiful yep. flounder. And uh, they're the flathead fillets, so I've uh, got them organised and ready for George to uh, to uh, cook us a wonderful feed. And you got some other products here, I see. There's some flavoured olive oil. Yep. And of course... Um, Italian pasta. Nice pasta, yep. And of course, Curo Crush. Curo Crush Greek seasoning. Yep. Which is wonderful. Righto. And that one there, another pasta. Nice stuff. There's only so much you can do. Yeah. And I'm now opening um, the sun-dried tomatoes. These are authentic Italian recipe sun-dried tomatoes. Um, they've got no preservatives. You can see from the colour um, that they're all natural. Now, I've got to get this oil up to uh, a really good heat. Uh, I won't be sautéing the, uh, the mushrooms until I've got the uh, fish cooked. Okay, good. What I'm going to do is season the flathead fillets before I batter them and uh, fry them with a little bit of Creo Crush's Greek seasoning. It's a terrific product. It's got a combination of a lot of really good herbs that certainly enhance the flavour of anything you cook, not okay. just fish. Now, I'm about to um, batter my fish. I'll let the excess drain off. And I hope the oil is hot enough. Sometimes these gas barbecues, these gas things don't get the oil hot enough. Oh, it should be, should be fine, I think. Paul taught me a trick where you wave it around in the oil, which is a, a good little way to do it. Not quite as hot as I want it, but it'll do. That's looking pretty good. Well, there's the trick for Paul. Yeah, you just wave it from side to side before you just drop it in. Especially when you're cooking a lot of fish. Um, we're only putting a couple of pieces in here today, so it shouldn't matter too much. But if you're cooking a lot of fish so it doesn't stick together. Can't get any fresher than that, George. No. Fresh off the boat. Yep. Straight out of Botany Bay. Now, yeah, what's your trick to knowing how long it takes to cook, George? This fish won't take very long at all to cook because we filleted it and skinned it. And you never overcook fish. Beautiful uh, flathead that George has cooked up for us. Look at that. And George is matching that with a beautiful couple of wines he uh, brings out as well. These are imported, George? Uh, that's imported. This is Western Australian. Okay, South. WA wine. Nice wine. Nice white wine. Beautiful. I like that. Fantastic with the fish. We always try to sell Australian products where we can. Yeah, it's good. So tell me about the flounder, George. What are we doing? And right. how are you going to cook the flounder? Well, we've seasoned the flounder now. Yeah. Uh, it's been seasoned for about 20 minutes. Okay. Yep. We're going to dip it in flour. We'll stop sticking on the hot oil. And so we've just got a knob of butter in there. That's to saute the mushroom. Okay. When we, when we, uh, yep. This is going in the uh, fryer. Straight. Okay. Straight now. The hot oil. Yep. Okay. One, two, three. Now you can see how that cooks so fast. Yep. It'll cook real quick. That'll cook real quick. Now a little splash. That. Ooh. Uh, And do you find this the best way to cook a flounder, like a whole, as a whole fish? Generally, I should have scored the skin. Right, stop it curling. Yeah, because it's, cool. it's so fresh. Yeah. When they're fresh like this, they will roll That's up. That's exactly right. It'd probably be better if you left it in the fridge for a couple of days, maybe two days, and um, and then cooked it. But we've only caught this this morning, nice and fresh. Uh, in my opinion, the best way to eat fish. Now we're sauteing 
These Italian fortines and Australian butter. Sauteed all in and through. Okay. What type of uh, mushroom are they again? It's a porcini. It's an Italian porcini. Okay. It's a combination called porcini porcinella. Italian chefs know it. Okay. Right, okay. Let me get this out. You know, I'll plate it up. Beautiful. And now I'm going to pour this beautiful Italian. With some sun dried tomatoes. Excellent. If you're in France, this is called Sole Mineur, and you'd be paying about 50 euro for a plate of this. Really? It's a specialty, is it? Yeah. Any good chef knows this. A little bit of sweetness with the sun dried tomatoes to match the savoury flavour of the mushrooms. Is that it? I had a bit of oh you put the down there. There we go, look at that. Fantastic. So a whole flounder, mushrooms, sun-dried tomatoes, really simple, fast to cook. Fast to cook, and really fresh nice. and tasty. You can't wait to try it. Really drink. tasty. Hang on, I'll get some knives and forks. Thanks for that. Okay. Thank you, mate. Thanks for yeah. bringing, taking me out. Oh, awesome. Well, well George, it was a fantastic day out in the water. Thank you enjoy you. that? Oh, I loved it. I and absolutely loved it. And I loved going through your factory and having a look around the other day. It was really Thanks. good. Did you enjoy yeah, it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Thanks, mate. Very Thanks. impressive. Yeah. Very it was impressive. a good setup, wasn't it? Yeah, big really setup. good setup. Yeah, we really try hard to get our customers the best service and the best quality products. Yeah. We've got a beautiful feed here that you've cooked up for us. Thank you. So we're going to get stuck into that now. Now guys, tune in next week for another fantastic clip on The Hook and the Cook. Please subscribe to our channel. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And we'll see you guys on the water next week somewhere. Cheers. Bye. I'd like to give a big thank you to all our sponsors for 2019.